my name is Patty Chan, and I'm with the Toronto Chinese Orchestra, and today we are going to be talking to Joshua. In TCO, you happen to play Sona, and um, well, wh what made you uh, decide to join TCO to start with? Well, actually, you contacted me in, in 2016 or so, saying, Joshua, we need someone to play the Sona for our concert in, in two months, and um, apparently no one in the city was available to play. So I had to learn this new instrument and it was very loud and I was scared, but <laughs> luckily it all worked out in the concert. And after that, I was, I was very excited because I got to see the entire Chinese orchestra, which was so new to me. Right, that was your first time, right? Like getting to know the Chinese orchestra. Yeah, all, all I knew about it before was that there were a bunch of urhus and the only urhu I had heard was at Roy Thompson Hall downtown where right. people play inside. Right. And it was quite an, yeah, an eye-opening experience to see all these novel instruments and the way that the instruments combined. Right. To well, get you're... the sound completely different from the Chinese orchestra, from the Western orchestra. Yeah, well, you're, you're a very strong musician yourself. Like, you play in orchestras outside of the Chinese orchestra. You play in Western orchestras, too. Was it hard to adapt to the sauna? Yeah, I would say so, because the sauna has no keys. Mm -hmm. um, so it's harder to keep in tune, and it's also a lot. Um, it's also a lot louder. Right. So it requires more uh, lip pressure and embouchure. And and what has made you decide to continue with TCO? Like after that first concert, what made you decide to stay? Well, I, I felt very at home there. It felt like um, it, it was part of my ethnic background to be with the Chinese orchestra. Uh -huh. Even though I hadn't actually, I had only been to China once myself. Right. Um, I found it really exciting to learn the new Chinese notation, uh -huh. Jianpu, rather than the Western staff notation. Yeah. And I, I, I'm someone who enjoys the spotlight. In, in the Western orchestra, as a woodwind player, I always get to play my own part. Mm. Um, and often I'll get solos. And here in the Chinese orchestra, I get to play the loudest instrument. So even when it's a 2D passage, I feel as though it's a solo because I'm the loudest person and that's for sure. <laughs> allegedly some people are trying to play in tune with me because <laughs> I'm You're the I, leader. <laughs> I, I lead this the two D section. Yeah, yeah. Well the sauna definitely sings out above everybody else. Can you actually tell us a little bit about the instrument? Yeah, um it's it kind of fulfills the role of the brass section in in, in the Chinese orchestra. Um, it's traditionally played um, at funerals and weddings in parts of northern China. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's an outdoors, outdoorsy instrument because it's so loud. Um, it's related to the, to the ancestor of the oboe. So it has a double reed. Mm -hmm. uh, I may as well show it now. Yeah. It has a, it has a double reed here. Ah. Yeah. Here. It's very small. And the reeds vibrate together when I blow into it. And here's the um, main wooden part with mm -hmm. the holes. Mm -hmm. And here's the bell at the end for extra amplification. So I can make a sound just with the reed. And then I can play it like this. For some reason, I really love the sound, so I can never tire of the sauna. For some people, it's an acquired taste. That is definitely an acquired taste. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten a nuisance complaint yet from a neighbor. <laughs> and, and it's great that your family puts up with your, your playing and practicing too, right? <laughs> well, they have to, otherwise <laughs> I'll just play more. <laughs>
so thanks, Joshua, for your time and also demonstrating the sauna for us.